Thank you, everyone. It's uh, great to be here. And uh, I hope that um, I can really show my support for this organization. <clears throat> I was actually flying down to Egypt, and I saw this movie. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen it or not. Has anybody seen the movie Blackberry by any chance? Raise your hand if you have. Um, it's actually a movie that really is something that is incredibly important to what happens to any organization. And I thought that um, it's very relevant to my presentation as well. So to start this story, let's think about something that you all see every day. And let's see how other people have seen it as well. I want you guys to look at this piece of rock. And tell me what you guys see here. I think many of you guys might look at this and say, hey, I can see a statue, or I can see a building. Some people might look at it and see it as a weapon, and hopefully you guys don't use it against me. But when Michelangelo was asked to carve a statue from this marble, he wasn't the very first one who actually was asked to do this. There were actually two other people, two artists more famous than him, who were asked to create this statue of David. And he actually, none of them were able to do it. And they said that the marble is too imperfect for it to be used for this type of a statue. However, he was able to actually accomplish that. And if you notice, he created one of the most magnificent, magnificent statues out there. I had to kind of cover up some parts of it just because it's not good for the eyes of Viola. We want it to be, you know, appropriate for her. But when they asked him, they said, hey, how did you actually create this statue? And he said that I actually saw a vision of this statue. I saw the angel that was stuck in this statue, and I had to set it free. And that's really an amazing vision that somebody can have. Moving on, and because I'm in Egypt, it's my first time here. Thank you for having me be part of this organization. Um, we can't go without talking about the pyramids, looking at the amazing structures they are, and all the hard work that went into building this and the vision that required a lot of execution in getting there. Um, it's been such an amazing structure that some people actually don't believe that humans could make it. And there's actually a famous person who said the following words, alien builds the pyramids. Do you guys know who said that by any chance? Anybody? Uh, it's the guy who's the most authority in this field, Elon Musk. That's what he basically said. So, <clears throat> but in order for us to be able to execute a vision, it really requires for us to be very persistent and really put in a hard work to make sure that it really comes to life. There's a really amazing quote by Thomas Edison who said that vision without execution is hallucination. And all the great men and women, all of you guys that are here who have accomplished so much, have really been doing it because you've been able to execute. And by coming here, you're also showing your support for this amazing vision that we have. So as a father of three girls, I'm really proud to be able to support an organization that really empowers women. When Viola approached me and first told me about this, I was really excited, and I became even more excited when I saw that she was actually executing on her dream, and she really wanted to accomplish something amazing. And so it gives me pleasure to be part of something so great. 
My company is a technology company. We are here to show our support for this vision, help execute this vision, and make sure that it really gets to where it needs to get to. <clears throat> About 23 years ago, I had a vision to create a company that empowers other people's vision. It took us a long time, but we've been executing on that vision ever since, and we have supported many, many companies, and our software is actually in every single one of your hands today, part of your mobile phones, and it is something that everyone uses. I'm very excited to also tell you that as part of the support, we'll be donating a portion of our proceeds for any new business that comes our way as a result of this event. I want to thank everybody, wish you a good rest of the night, and thank you, Viola, for hosting me. Thank you.